year to all you beautiful Libra risers out there. 2021. Listen, if you haven't checked my channel out before, this is the Libra Rising Secret Series where I share information and insight specifically made for Libra Rising. So go check out those other videos. I'm sure you'll get a lot of value from it. With that being said, what's the destiny? What's, what's happening, Venetian souls, in this coming year for you? Well, we always want to look at the different transits to see what's being activated in your natal chart when it comes to your yearly predictions. The transit that I'm looking at right now is the North Node transit, which is known in the Vedic astrology, Rahu. The reason why I'm mentioning Rahu is I'm using Vedic astrology for my predictions in this video. So if you're a tropical astrologer, don't panic, don't get in a hissy fit. You can use the tropical for your personality profile, but take a look at Vedic when we're predicting events in the world and pre predicting events in your life. So take a look at them all. See what one resonates. But for this video, we're going to be doing the Vedic and we're going to be looking at Rahu, which is your North Node, which is called the Destiny Point in your eighth house this coming year. It's already there, started in September. It'll be there until March, 2022. So eighth house themes are getting ready to be activated for the Libra riser. And some of you that know astrology, don't freak out when you hear the word eighth house. Sometimes the eighth house has a lot of negative connotation to it. But as an astrologer for many, many years, counseling many, many people, the ultimate authority in your life is your own energy, your own attitude. Are you facing your chart, your astrology chart with a high energy or are you facing it with a negative low energy? Your faith and how you respond to your faith will determine your destiny. So I've seen people have the same situation. One person excels, the other is defeated. It wasn't the situation, it was the spirit of the person. That's why I'm always encouraging you. Keep your spirit uplifted. Keep yourself connected to the divine. Keep watching positive YouTube channels like mine. And no matter what comes your way, man, you'll ace it, you'll get ahead, you'll be stronger, you'll be better. But Let's take a look at this eighth house now and realize there's some great things on the high side for Libra risers in this coming year. One of the high sides right off the bat is mortgages and loans. If you've been wanting to get a house loan, been thinking about buying a house, but it hasn't happened yet, this coming year, 13, 16 months, you'll be able to get that bank loan, to get that approval, to buy that house, or to buy the vehicle you want. So loans, big loans that you got to make payments back on is highly favored. Most of us have to take out mortgages at one time in our life. So this is a great time to take out a mortgage and get that home, get that second property, get that boat or car, or if you want to remortgage your home. It's going to be a good time to remortgage and bring down those interest payments as the year moves on. So that's really, really good. Also, this next year is a transformational year for Libra Rising. Why? Because eighth house is the house of healing. It's the house of transformation and change. There are going to be profound deep, deep healing in your psyche. Eighth house deals with the psychological mind, things that may have happened in our childhood, things that may have happened in past lives, past relationships, things that you may have forgotten about or you have tried to put out of your mind. They're going to resurface in this next year, but they're not resurfacing to discourage you. You're being, your past is showing up so you can finally deal with it. You can deal with it, feel it, and heal it, and move on, be stronger and better and wiser. All this is happening. Great psychological maturity is happening in this next year. Great, great healing. This is also going to make you a healer to other people. The other people are going to bring you their problems, their situations. A lot of crisis can go on in people's lives where you'll be the strong one. You'll be the shoulder they can cry on. You'll be the, the wisdom that they listen to. So be that strong support for your family and friends. Be that healer on this planet. Be the light worker. Be the empath because you're going to be very sensitive to the emotions of other people and what they're going through. Now listen, you yourself must allow changes to occur in your life. Numerology-wise, for the whole world, we're in a five which means changes. 
your destiny, your Rahu, your north nodes in the eighth house. Eighth house is crisis. I don't want you to have a lot of crisis in the coming year. But if crises are happening, it's because you're not changing. You're not allowing the healing, the forgiveness. You're not letting go of bitterness. You're not letting go of resentment. You're not trying to understand yourself on an emotional level. And if you will open up your emotions, they won't overpower you. They will not destroy you. Actually leaning into your pain is the path to your purpose, to your healing, even to your joy. So... I'm, I know I'm kind of getting kind of uh, very spiritual here, but it's a very spiritual year for you. And so I don't want you to be stubborn. You can't, you can't, you can think you can resist the universe and the universe is stronger than your resistance. Instead, be like the fish in the water. Go with the flow. Go with the flow and you'll see that the changes are really bringing about new life, getting you out of a rut, getting you out of stagnation. And with that destiny point, right, we're going towards our destiny changes this year or any crisis this year is to get you closer to your ultimate destiny, to get you closer to your ultimate calling, your ultimate purpose. So it's not a bad year that way. I'm just saying a crisis come is because you're not opening to the changes that the universe wants. But if you open and say, I'm open to the changes, universe, well, then guess what? Great changes will come that bring healing, that bring enlightenment, insight. It brings a connection. You can feel connected to your loved ones on the other side, to angels, to God. Whatever you think that's mystical and hidden, the eighth house rules esoteric knowledge. It rules the occult. It rules hidden knowledge. Your mind can be lit up this year studying astrology. Subscribe to my channel. Even if you've never been into astrology before, this is your year to learn the secrets of the universe. And if you learn the secrets of the universe, then you can apply those on earth and reap your reward because you're following universal principles. Subscribe to the button right now if you want to learn more hidden knowledge, esoteric knowledge that will bring healing and insight into your life. So we know that with the Rahu, the North Node in the 8th house, good for loans, good for mortgages, good for healing your life and healing other people and giving good advice. So all that stuff is really, really good. Now, this means that if the North Node's in the 8th, that means K2, the South Node, is in your 2nd. And so the second house is about how we make money. The second house is our self-esteem and the things that we value. Now, K2, or the South Node, is a very spiritual planet in nature. It's a very intuitive planet. Where the North Node is about this world, the South Node is about the other world, the heavenly world, the uh, the higher realm. And so a lot of people in astrology will say, well, your past life was the South Node, and you're supposed to forget the South Node and just head to your North Node. That's not correct. None of your astrology charts should ever be X'd out. None of your astrology chart should ever be avoided. It all works together in a cohesive whole. Well, what do you do, Jeremy? You take your south node and you integrate the higher energy of it, the higher principles of it in your life to help you reach your north node in these new energies and these new principles that you're developing in this lifetime. If you try to completely forget your south node, you're not going to have the tools to reach your north node. Little astrology teaching there. You're not going to get everywhere else. All right. Now, here we go. If K2's in the second, you know, some people could say, well, there could be a loss of money or a loss of, uh, you know, uh, scandals or whatever with uh, all this stuff going on. You don't have to be on that low side. The high side of K2 in the second, north, uh, south node in the second, is you can become very intuitive about the decisions you make. You can become very intuitive about where to get your money, how to get your money. Uh, and so it's really using your intuition, not your logical mind, not your logical mind. Intuition is your that still small voice in your heart, maybe in the back of your, your ear. It's the voice of God, your conscience. And you might feel little goosebumps or whatever, but it's the spiritual voice. It's the hidden voice that touches you and echoes in your spirit, your soul, and your mind. Listen to that voice. It isn't the voice of reason this year. It may You may think you're making all the sense in the world and still 
not make the money, lose money, because it's not a logical year for you. 2021 is a year of spirituality. K2 in the second. Now, second house is what I value. K2 South Node there is saying it's time to value your spirituality again. Value your spirituality. Your spirituality is even worth more than money. But what is cool about this is you can use spiritual principles to create money. Well, what do you mean, Jeremy? Law of attraction. You can talk faith. You can talk positivity. You can give to the poor. What you give, you shall receive. You can practice kindness. You can generate great karma in 2021 if you're open to doing things not in a doggy doggy way in the world uh, me 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 first but more of a servant more of being confident that you can help others confident in your message to be a, an agent of positive change on this planet then you'll see the universe reward you for enlightening the rest of us on how to walk a more spiritual path and so this really means that I need you to value your meditation time, value your prayer time, value going to uh, spiritual retreats, value anything that you do to slow down and tap into your intuition, journal, automatic writing, all these things, playing music, singing, dancing. Once again, South No K2 spirituality in the house of what self-esteem values and money. If you want your money to be impacted by God and by the universe, you must connect to that intuitive voice. You must connect to your higher self. You must value your higher self. Value the intuitive voice. Value the spiritual voice from on high. Value your walk with spirit. These things are important. Folks, I'm going to tell you right now, more important than money, more important than fame, more important than riches is my walk with spirit. Partnering with spirit to create your best life. That should be your motto in 2021. Yes, I like money, nice house. I like having a good fame. I like my YouTube channel to grow. And it's going to grow because I'm in partnering with spirit to create my best life. But so many people are trying to create their best life before they even deal with spirit. This time around, spirit is saying you got to get your spirit right. You got to get your soul connected. You got to get your heart connected. And then the other stuff we can start paying attention to. So you got that second and eighth house being activated. That means money issues are going on this year. Self-esteem issues, right? Because a lot of times we value our worth on how much money we have or how nice our home is or, you know, how good our clothes are. So, you know, Libra rising anyways values the nice things in life. What I'm saying is, is you're re-looking at what you value. You're re-evaluating what you value. You're re-evaluating what it is that you truly do care about, not only in 2021, but in the years going forward. So it's a really very spiritual, powerful, impactful year. Now, for those that are like into insurance, selling insurance, those that are funeral directors, those that are counselors, whether it's a sex therapy, whether it's psychotherapist, all these things, stockbrokers, this is a great time for you in 2021 because that eighth house rules other people's money. So a lot of other people can look to you for your wisdom on where they should put their money. So if some of you are looking for jobs and this year you're like, where can I work and make money? Find out where you can be in careers for at least this year on guiding people in their finances or guide, or counseling, coaching, consulting, eighth houses, other people. Your money's not coming from you. Your money is coming from other people. So your focus is how can I serve? How can I heal? How can I help other people? Help them grow their money. Help them grow their self-esteem. Help them plan out their, their life, their, so their funeral's ready, their life insurance ready, you know, they're ready to get a mortgage. So Google that eighth house. Now, don't look at all the scary stuff. Uh, you'll There's scary stuff anywhere. I partner with spirit and you'll be okay. But look at eighth house issues. Look at eighth house themes and you'll see that this is a transformational year if you will partner with spirit, if you will value spirit, if you will help others, and if you will deal with your past when it comes up and just allow yourself to heal all those old issues. So when we're going into 2022, there's nothing lingering. There's nothing in the back of our subconscious mind anymore that is self-sabotaging us. This is a year where you can see much healing, many miracles, maybe even see 
like I said, the other side of the world, the invisible, things that maybe you, people won't even believe. They wouldn't even believe you if you told them. You can have these wonderful, wonderful, ex once in a lifetime experience seeing the forces that are much deeper and much higher than our natural eyes can see if you're walking and listening to your heart and your intuition. Namaste, subscribe. I'm going to tell you about the other transits that are also going to be playing along with that North Node, and you are going to want to know.